Hello everyone, this is Josiah Bewalda with Hybrid Audio Technologies, Origin Inc. and Zapco. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to mess around with this new HDSP V16. Um, I've just put it in one of our demo vehicles. Uh, I pulled the Helix out. We're going to put this one in to uh, test and demo and see what we can do with it. Uh, it's got a lot of awesome features which will come way later in, in videos, but we're just going to start with a general setup of, of just getting this thing running and started. Um, Currently, uh, we're using a Cares Area ODR to the uh, to the uh, ODR system that's in the car, uh, and then the outputs of the ODR to the input of the HDSP. So it's got two channels of input, ten channels of output, um, going to a four-way front and two 15s in the back. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, start this. It's already I've already put power to it. Uh, the car is is in the uh, on position, so let's go ahead and uh, select device here. We've got the HDSP Z16. Select COM, COM4, because it's plugged into the USB, and we're going to press start. It should go full size here once uh, once it connects everything. Um, this is our first time using it, so I'm going to go default, and uh, we'll kind of kind of go from there. Alrighty, so this is what we've got for our startup screen. Uh, it's nice; it's all one page. There's a lot kind of going on here, um, which is which is great. It lets us see a lot of information. Um, but just like past DSPs and processors, the first thing we're wanting to do is we're wanting to go to this I/O page. Uh, so click on that, and that and this pulls up. So, like I said before, we're using two channels of input, ten channels of output. So. Um, on this input side over here, this main area, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click two channel. You, you'll see that it lights up. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press set and you'll see that these little bars pop up here. Um, and this is my own way of doing this. Uh, you might have figured out a different way that you like to do this and that's okay. Um, I know that my channels one and two are my left and right tweeters, three and four are my mid range, five and six are my woofers. But where it changes is here seven, eight, nine, and ten. So, uh, what I've got here is on 7 and 8, I have my front woofers. Uh, so, I go ahead and I'm going to click sub 1 for those because they are subwoofers up front as part of the four way. And sub 2. And I'm going to, or sorry, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do sub 1 on this one as well. Just so we know that the 1 is our fronts, sub 2 is the rear, rear fill subs. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go not used on the rest. Just because OCD, yeah, it takes a little bit more time, but hey, it's worth it. All right, cool. So that's set. So this is in, this is everyone's system's different. So, uh, you know, just make sure you click this drop down and you set whatever is in channel one to whatever it needs to be. For me, everything else is correct. So um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to left click here 100 percent all the way down left and right all right cool so this page is done um, and like I said everyone's different if you're using three channels of input or uh, sorry your you know your your front your rear and your sub as far as inputs go so that'd be six channels of input um, you would just come over here and you click six channels and press set you can OEM summit you've got your coax your toss link uh, line in uh, it's it's all it's all right here on the left hand side. You can configure it however you're needing to. Uh, but for me, this is this is simple. This is straightforward. This is this is what I need. So I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to X out of this. And just so we uh, we're at a, a point where I've set it all up, I'm going to go ahead and click load save. I'm going to save it in the current preset. Press OK. I'm even going to save a PC file. I'm going to go ahead and just say uh, this is a Buick test. All right now I'll save that up in my uh, up in my desktop up here. All right, so now I've saved it to my PC. I've saved it to the uh, to the DSP itself. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go over here to my XO page. Now uh, XO is going to be our crossovers. You can set the crossovers on the front page. 
uh, here I can I can go ahead and I can link these channels and I can actually set my crossovers here if I wanted to right and you'll see it automatically changes it just at everything but we also do have the option of having its own specific page for crossovers so we'll go ahead and we'll uh, we'll just do it on this page I go ahead and I like to I like to link my my uh, mids tweeters woofers everything together so I only have to do this one time um, we are running all hybrid audio technology stuff so we've got the X1 tweeters the Legadia X3 mid-range the L8 SE dust caps the Claris 8 subwoofers in the floorboard and uh, two AE 15 inch subwoofers in the back um, so these are just my general crossovers where I'm gonna usually start with this kind of setup and then uh, you know further down the road we put pink noise in here and uh, and kind of go forward uh, with the rest of the tuning but for just getting some, some music put in here we're gonna we're just gonna set this up uh, I always run link with negative 24 everyone's different um, that's just a great general everyday crossover uh, or slope is the link with negative 24 so you'll notice I'll put that on everything uh, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna be doing with those those subs in the back on channels 9 and 10 so I'm gonna leave those um, We'll go ahead and we'll we'll just set these at uh and we're, let me change this real quick too. We'll go ahead and put these at uh, 20 hertz because they are subwoofers, and we're just going to run them up to uh, 40 hertz because we're not exactly sure what we're going to be using the mids or the uh, the front subs. And we'll link these last two, which are our subwoofers. We'll put these at 20 hertz as well. And 40. Alright, so we're done on this page. I'll go ahead and I'm going to X out of that for our crossovers. Um, now you'll notice here we'll need to kind of set the, uh, the labels up on this page as well. So we'll go ahead and modify it real quick. So right click, drop down. set these in here and then I'll go not used not used that helps clean up our page just a little bit alrighty so you'll notice all of our crossovers are still here I'm gonna go ahead and mute sub ones just because I know that I might not be using those uh, in my four-way and at this point I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna save one more time in this current preset and I'm gonna turn I'm gonna Unpause some music and see if I've got any uh, see if I've got any sound here. All right, I like to go ahead and I like to go ahead and mute all my channels and just make sure everything is working correctly. I am going to go ahead and see so here we are with the tweeters. Okay, left and right, got to check stereo, make sure all the right. Okay, the mids are good. Okay, mid bass are good. So I went ahead and I've already saved it to my preset. I'll save it again here in a second. Unmute all these. And from here, basically, um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to start setting my equalizer, uh, which is where I'd come down here per channel. I'm going to unlink all these channels um, because obviously they're all going to have uh, uh, different settings of equalizer except for the subs in the back. Um, which are basically, I'm leaving them at mono back there, but uh, from here it's pretty straightforward. We're going to go ahead and we'll move on to another video, but that's just from just getting, from plugging in the DSP, the new 16 channel DSP. I've got the remote plugged in. I've got power to the car. I've started it up for the very first time. 
I've set basic crossovers. I've got music playing. I'm going to save to the PC one more time. I'm going to find my original file that I saved on my desktop. Uh, Buick test. And I'm going to press save. I'm going to override it because I've done some more work to it. Come here. I'm going to save to the current preset. Press OK. And uh, I've got music, so I can rock and roll as I am if I didn't want to do any sort of delay or equalization. But hopefully this helps just kind of getting you guys started and getting you somewhere where you're where you got music in your car. And uh, be looking for another video, guys. Um, hopefully this helps.